Christian, you broke out the Pirates of the Caribbean costume. Are you a fan of theme parties? Uh, no, not really. I mean, that was just um, like a last minute Halloween costume that you know, I had to kind of just get so I could go. The free Tom Brady costume. Uh, you got the helmet and the jersey. Will that possibly be the next Halloween costume? No, you no, know, guys were giving me a hard time saying that I wouldn't do it. And I was like, yeah, I'll do it right now, watch. And that's kind of what happened. You posted a funny picture on Twitter of you and a picture of Dan Heron. Is he one of your favorite follows on Twitter? Dan's awesome. He's one of my favorite teammates um, I've had. He's, he's a cool dude and uh, you know, he's, he's really funny. And people are kind of getting to see that through his Twitter. But uh, that's just how he is every day in real life. And um, that's what it was like playing with him. You went to the White House on a day off. Would you ever want to run the country? <laughs> uh, no, I mean everyone. There's half the country hates you, half the country likes you. It's a lot of busy hours. Uh, you know, politics really aren't my thing. I almost stick to playing baseball. Has there been a fan that has heckled you or called you a giraffe since the time that it happened in Atlanta? No, but usually I, I get it pretty good when we come out to here to New York. They they don't like me out here for some reason, <laughs> but uh, you know it's cool. It's all good fun. It keeps it interesting and. Um, you know, some of the heckles are actually pretty funny, so it, it, it keeps the mood light and, and it's something that I enjoy. But well, you do have a buddy here in New York, Pete Davidson. Do you think that you look like him after having met him and, and seeing him in person? Yeah, I mean, maybe a little bit. Uh, I don't know as much as everyone kind of makes it out to be. I think he kind of agrees that there's a little there, but, um, you know, it's not an exact match. But, um, no, he's cool. Do you think he did a good job in the outfield? Yeah, I mean, it was just a cool day, man. Everyone was having fun with it. I know he had a good time. I had a good time. All the guys on the team enjoyed it, and you know, maybe we'll do it again here soon. Justin Bohr, during spring training, you said to him, if he did a handstand on the field, you'd buy him Chipotle. Did you end up buying him Chipotle? Yeah, it was just like it was a road trip thing. We were in Fort Myers, I think. So it was like a three-hour trip from where we're at in Jupiter. So on the way home, he was talking about that sort of like he wanted to go. And I, he does handstands all the time. He's actually pretty impressive that he can do that. You know, I was kind of joking with him that he wouldn't do it, and he ended up doing it. If you can ask anybody a question and you're guaranteed a yes, what would the question be and who'd you ask it to? The last time we did this, you wanted a date with Taylor Swift. <laughs> Um, I don't know, dude. That's a hard question, like, right off the top. You still want the date? Uh, I mean, yeah, why not? I mean, pretty laid back. You know, how, how bad could it be, right? <laughs>